This video concerns something that is testable on the MCAT, but if it appears, it's more likely to show up as a passage-based problem rather than something that they're testing you on explicitly. It deals with an interesting feature of the linear DNA that you encounter in eukaryotic cells, and it's called supercoiling. And what is happening is that recall when you start to replicate eukaryotic DNA, you have these helicases that unwind the DNA and create a replication bubble that allows for primers and polymerases to occur here. And this replication bubble gets larger and larger. And because of the way that the base pairs connect with each other, as the replication bubble increases in size, you'll still see that the amount of twists and turns will often be preserved and thus you'll get something known as supercoiling because in a shorter length you have more coiling and that can create some stress on the system because the twists are getting tighter and tighter. Supercoiling is something that occurs distal to these replication forks and it can create stresses that cause problems during the replication process and make it more difficult for some of the enzymes to reach their positions. And so in order to resolve this problem of supercoiling, you need to find a way to relieve that stress while still allowing the replication to proceed at these two replication forks. And the way that that is accomplished is by using something known as a topoisomerase. Remember that an isomer is something that has the same chemical formula, but somehow a different structure. And in this case, topo relates to topography, so it means that it sort of changes the spatial arrangement of that structure without doing anything and thus leaving it as an isomer. And ultimately, what the topoisomerase does is it helps relieve this supercoiled stress by breaking the DNA in certain places and then allowing it to unwind and thus relieve some of that stress and rejoining the pieces so that it's still an intact DNA structure. So it might break the pieces here, allow them to unwind and become a bit more loosely wound and then it rejoins them so that the DNA is still the intact DNA strand that you expect to conserve throughout the life cycle of the cell. There are two types of to topoisomerases. You're not going to be tested on these directly, but just recognize that two types exist. One is type 1, and true to its name, type 1 is for single-stranded DNA. So it only uncoils single-stranded DNA and helps relieve some of the mechanical stress in that. Type 2 is for double-stranded DNA, so it might cleave it in both places, allow the whole thing to unwind, and then rejoin the pieces to their original position, but with a bit less mechanical stress. And again, this isn't something to absolutely commit to memory because it's often going to be tested in a passage or perhaps in a discrete question where they give you the information necessary and provide you some background. But recognize that because of this replication bubble and because this is a linear eukaryotic DNA structure, there is some mechanical stress of supercoiling that can create barriers to smooth replication and thus we need to have solutions that enable us to deal with that problem.